Okay. Uh, so last session, uh, Aoife had received uh, a message uh, from Ricochet, and then she proceeded, you know, after everybody settled down for the night, she proceeded to uh, let you guys know that uh, her monastery where she was raised at was destroyed. Apparently, a former student that had gone on excursion had returned and killed everybody but one guy and burned the monastery down. Uh, the current survivor, a monk named Lu Ping, was residing in Fort Granite with the treasure hunters there where his wounds were being treated. Um... Zaitari, uh, Aoife had asked Zaitari to send Ascending to Ricochet to tell him she was in on this uh, wild monk hunt. Um, the group was also going to help her because obviously there is a child murderer on the loose. So after people had spent time with their loved ones... Um, you guys went down to Fort Granite to see Lu Ping, who was in a pretty in, in in a pretty rough state. He, along with being the only survivor, also had an eye and arm missing, courtesy of Goker, the former student. Um, Ifa and him had discussed what had uh, happened that night. Uh, tried to recall any very helpful clues that he could remember. And right now, the plan is that Aoife, once acquired, would send a sending to Goker to try to lure him out um, to, uh, to and using Aoife as, as, as bait. Um, are there any questions about last session? Okay. Good. All right, cool. Oh, and also Ricochet had mentioned that he f had found two other monks um, that, you know, had gone on, like, excursions who weren't at the monastery at the time. So they would probably be... He was coming back to Fort Granite to see what they could, they could do in the meantime. Okay. So you guys are all on Fort Grant. Are you guys wanting to do anything, or do you want to like? Would you like to like skip ahead to uh, meet up with Ricochet? I think I'm fine. There's okay. nothing I can think of. So, um, we warned uh, Belzor's temple, right? You had not gone there yet. Um, Theo would like to warn Belzor's <laughs> temple that there's a madman on the loose. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's pretty easy to get. I mean, the 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 temple's right in the city, so it'd be pretty right. easy just to walk there and say, "Hey, Belzor," and you know, Belzor would be like, "Oh God, you guys are here!" And then it's like, "Oh, by the way, there's a child murderer on the loose." What now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at, th at that point, Belzor was like, and if you proceeded, to Theo proceeded to explain the whole situation, Belzor would be, you know, get very, very serious. Very and, livid, I might imagine. And very, li like, he, him and Lynn are pissed off about this, but definitely all hands are on deck. Um... And, you know, extra rounds of watching. Because it's pretty lenient in the city. You have mostly the town guard to, like, alert people. So it's... Most people here would feel pretty safe. Especially in, like, the religious section of town. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, he, he is definitely on guard. And he, you know, both the Grandmasters, thank you for giving him um, and her the, the warning. Just in case things would go down um they also offer if you want you could stay at the at the temple for tonight if you did not have lodgings already 
Ethan. Um, well, anyways. Okay. Yeah, just what? in case he is coming. That way she can at least be there. Um, yeah, so if we're staying the night and in Port Granite, then sure, you know, Theo will um, acquiesce, you know, agree to that. Um, if we're leaving the city, though, then, you know, obviously we can't stay. Um, I, I believe the teleport spell has been used, so it would take a long rest on Zaitari's part, I believe. Correct. I can't take us anywhere right now, so. Okay. Um. Um, in that case, can I request a scene between, um, Theo and Aoife? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um. um so, you yeah. know. It's, it's like, it's, there's not much the party can do during, you know, the downtime. Um, I mean, you know, you have open, you know, you're allowed permission pretty much everywhere in the temple, um, because of how much you've helped the Grand Masters. But yeah, uh, I, I'm trying to remember. So it was morning when you left. So yeah, it would be eight, about eight hours prior. So yeah, it, it would be evening here. Um, so, I imagine, uh, Aoife's probably, you know, uh, training, you know, or something like that. Yeah, still uh, meditating on the Disc of Night. Okay. Um, Theo would try to find her either, like, wherever... Uh, he thinks he is. Um, look in the gym first. You know, look in her room. Try to just seek her out. And, yeah, uh, side, like on the roof or in a garden or something. Um, <laughs> I'm just imagining him trying to get onto the roof and like, okay, okay. Just move slowly, Theo. Um, uh, he will uh, find her, I guess, and uh, just kind of um, either if she's like got her eyes open, try to like make his presence known, you know, before he approaches, or if you know she's meditating and her eyes are closed or something, he'll wait until she seems done. Um, she'd probably hear clear his throat uh, she'd probably hear him coming with his armor uh, yeah clink clank clank clink yeah she would Sorry. just uh, <laughs> sigh <laughs> this good night to the side uh, yeah what's up um, at that point he would come and uh, sit next to you or you know across from you or whatever uh are you, are you all right? I um. PG. I suppose it's a stupid question. I mean, I'm alive, so shouldn't complain too much, one way or the other. I'm not asking about what complaints you have. I, what are you asking about then? I suppose I'm asking if there's anything you would like to talk about. Uh, she looks genuinely confused. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh,. He says, he kind of shrugs and says, uh, I know I'm, uh, 
uh, along for the ride uh, at this moment, but usually I'm not. I'm at my duchy or traveling with uh, Alexandria and oh my god, what's his name? Angelo. Angelo. And Angelo. <clears throat> I think it was Alejandro, and I was like, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Alexandria and Angelo um, and Iskin. So I'm sort of a stranger. It's. I've heard it's easier to tell strangers certain things uh, sometimes. Well, Just wondered I mean, if you needed to talk. I can let you in on a secret. Uh, everyone I've known has always been a stranger. I'm not really, like, the person people go to for conversation. So I don't know what you want from me. I don't like, want anything from you, Aoife. I was wondering if you needed someone to talk to after your... What I can only imagine has been essentially your family. I she know you didn't get eyes. along. <laughs> I know you didn't get along with them. I, you know, it, this might surprise you. I didn't get along very well with uh, my father either, nor did Tilda get along with her parents. Yeah, like, that, that's one thing, but, like, your parents didn't ditch you. You got a chance to work on it and get along better with them. I get, I get what you're trying to do. I appreciate it. I appreciate you reaching out. Um, I think fundamentally, you're never gonna get it for me. You know, um, you're super rich, you're a politician, and you're in a position of power. Uh, I'm an orphan who was so disliked by their orphanage, they got, they were happily released into the world at 16 with no complaints and no one trying to stop them. You know, those are two very different worlds, and that's fine. Um, but they weren't my family. Even the other kids, they weren't my family. I wanted them to have better lives than what they got, but I've never considered anyone family. I've never considered anyone a friend. Well, I, um... I'm the problem who is useful sometimes. I'm a tool. I get that. So I'll be the tool for change. You know, I don't, Like, I, I'm extremely useful to this group. That's why I'm still around. You think if they had another option, they'd be traveling with me? They can't stand me. And they shouldn't. I'm awful. Like, I get it. I'm not without, like, self-awareness. Uh, which is why I'm totally chill with this plan. You know, luring him out being the bait. Because, like, best case scenario, I win, he dies. All those children are avenged. Worst case scenario, he wins, I dies. I die, and then no more Sorry, arguing that's over Ro breakfast. Laughing. <laughs> uh, no more arguing over breakfast for the party, you know? It's a win-win either way. I'm okay with that. Theo looks a little pensive and says, I disagree uh, about it being win-win. I think there's I think you have more friends than you know. You do remember that I offered to help you kill yourself like a month ago, right? I also remember that you scooped my wife, my very pregnant, very in labor wife, up while I was panicking and didn't know what to do and ran her to safety. I mean, yeah. There's a reason we named Trixia. We gave her 
a name that's similar to yours. That's still weird to me. Mm. That's still super weird to me. Uh, well, you know. Because that's like a concrete way I'm going to be remembered once I die, and that's strange. Because uh, I've kind of operated under the assumption that I'll do a bunch of shit, maybe change some lives, and then die, and then be forgotten about within the year. That's been my, like, five-year plan, I guess. Uh, but now somebody's named after me. That's so strange. I'd tell you to change it, but it's kind of late, kind of late on that part, so... Yeah, we could still change it if we wanted to. But I imagine she shall be um, baptized in the Church of Hello with um, the name she has. <sighs> yeah, you have the power to do better. Like, make lives a lot better than they are. I know. You're, you're in a position. I'm well aware, Eva. And Tilda is well aware. And we're trying to do better. We are passionate patrons of uh, orphanages all across uh, Pondera. We are trying. We're I mean just the fact that um we risk our lives surely me should mean something. We it doesn't mean anything. We personally risk our lives. It doesn't put food in their on their plates. It doesn't give them nicer blankets than what they got. Us risking our lives doesn't mean shit. Because we'll just die and they'll still be hungry. And that is why we donate. Yeah, but donate doesn't change. I, you need to change the policies. You need to change the expectations. You need to change the structure. Because it's the structure that's flawed. Are you saying that we should change... The fact that there are orphans, or I, I'm most, afraid I don't know. Most orphanages are running at like 10 to 20 kids per caretaker, right? Uh, most orphanages are running at a deficit. They don't have enough money, and it doesn't matter how many donations you you know, provide, there will always be more orphans. They run out of space too quickly because of the way the whole system works. Not enough people want to volunteer or can volunteer. It needs to be less of a monolithic, all orphans go here. And you can't just get them to temples and monasteries. Hmm. What you should do is yes. sit down and talk with the orphans. Invite them over for a business meeting Ask them what they would like to see changed. That's what you should do. They're the ones who are still in it. It's not a bad idea. Kids are smarter than people give them credit for, too. A lot of people think that they're dumb or don't pay attention, but they pay attention to everything. I agree. Well. I mean... If I were to do that, I would need someone who could help me manage such things. Like, you can hire people. Like, you're rich. Make a job. But I would need to hire the right people. If you're offering me the job, no. I've got to go overthrow that fucking elven government that hangs people as examples. Um, I've got to tear down that temple and to kill every single noble person in that government uh, because that's a scourge and they need to go. So you would rather you would rather throw yourself into the lion pit than actually help me 
help people. You would rather die on some sort of suicide mission. Oh, it wouldn't be then, a suicide mission. I got out of that temple like with no scratches. I was fine. No, I want to create a vacuum so that something else can come and fill the space. And I want to help could be fill worse. that space. Not if I can manage that. You can't guarantee anything, Mika. Neither can you. If no, I can guarantee not that asking... current rulership, people are going to suffer more. Because they're shitbags. I need to pick and choose my battles. I'm human. Uh, so I've got, and she like pretends to look at a watch, uh, maybe like 50 years left, like on the upside. Um, so I'm going to make the best of those years. I don't have the tools to handle stuff here at home. You do. You have the money and access to the infrastructure. I have I literally the tools just to overthrow. The tools. I have the tools to overthrow a corrupt government that you don't. So we play to our strengths. Plus, I'm not a desk job person. Uh, you don't want me in a position where I have to talk to people and make them agree with you or want to work with you because uh, I am inherently unlikable and I've made That's sure not I'm in true. It's super true. It's not true. I heard Zaitari and Rain talking about how to kill me. Well, that's Zaitari and Rain's problem. Zaitari and Rain, I'm sure, also... Rain, at the very least, also has, I'm sure, plans to on how to kill me or Tilda in case something goes wrong. You are not unlikable, Ether. I like you. You're funny. Even when you're calling me old. Uh, you mean, it, the wrinkles speak for themselves. They don't have wrinkles. I make sure of that. There's. He's got like a little smile. I just, I, I, I don't see it. You know, I like, I got it. I'm 16. I'm homeless, jobless. Technically, I'm not getting paid for any of this. Um, an orphan. I've never had a friend. You know, like all those things, if it was just one or two things, sure, maybe I just had bad luck, but all those things together, the common denominator is me. And I've learned to live with that. You're and 16. It was, yeah, it sucks. You have so much. You have so much time. Maybe. Maybe not. Hanging with a group of people that just took me to go fight a Dracolich. I feel like time's kind of a joke for all of us. If I, I live have time to change, if you wanted to. I mean, if I live to 25, maybe I'll reevaluate some stuff. But like. I'm, I'm doing the only thing I've known. take care of myself and bulldoze a path so that people behind me might have it a little bit better. You know what bulldozers do, don't you? They push things away from them. Oh, I they crush them underneath them. Like, you, you had a rough relationship with your dad. You said so. I'm sorry about that. I hope it's getting better now that you're older. Um, it is. Took him losing his face and his sanity for it to happen, but... Yeah, but it's getting better. Um, and you had other people around you that taught you how to, like... Feel things, you know? How to go, oh, that's happiness. You're happy. That's why you're laughing. Uh, taught people, people who were around you to teach you, you know, it's okay to feel this way. It's okay to put up a boundary. It's okay to do this, you know. Uh, 
people around you who, when you fell and scraped up your knees, maybe they took care of it. I did not have that. We're coming from different places at the very, very core of it all. And I, you're never going to be able to see things the way I do. And I'm never going to be able to feel things the way you do. Those are our lives, and that's okay. I just want to make things better for everyone else. So when I do die, it's not a waste. Your life is not a waste. Lisa. Hopefully not. And Even if you go. died right this second, it would not have been a waste. And I did teach Shattuck the kazoo. That's a skill she will carry her entire life. Yes. It's just, it's just one of those things, you know. I, I had it shitty. I had it rough. I'm probably going to continue to have it shitty and rough because I don't know how to have nice things because uh, I've never had nice things. Um, I just want to make sure that not everyone else who's kind of forgotten by society as a whole also have it shitty and rough all the time. That's all I care about. That's why I'm doing this and helping, you know, heroes of Leona, like save the world and shit. Uh, not good at networking, but you guys are. So I'm hoping you'll do it for me. And make the changes at the government level for me so I don't have to. Because I only know one way to change things. Careful lobbying? No. Oh, damn. Yelling at the people in power. Not yelling at the people at power. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's golden murdering people. the people. Yeah, murdering the people at power and, make, and putting someone else in that position. Scolding them. And then... If they still don't, murdering them and put and replacing them. Yeah, I mean, he has got this cool trick with a bag of holding and a stunning strike that would be enough to scare any politician. Theo just kind of sits and listens. And then when it seems like Aoife is done... He stands up, kind of does like a stretch, you know, to try to get the, uh, you know, kinks out of his knees or whatever. <laughs> um, says, well, well, I'm going to head to bed. You know, us old people. Make sure you do your calisthenics first so you don't lock up. Of course. Good night, Eva. Good night, Theo. And thank you. For what? For trying. You're the first one. Well, um, it's not that difficult when uh, it's not hard to try when you're trying to speak to a friend and Eva, that's if you'd like I consider you my friend you can consider me yours aren't you like you 50 isn't it weird for a 50 year old to be a friend with a teenager like yes I'm 50 years old and that's why no. I'm a little older. Doesn't mean anything. How old is Theo? 28. Okay. 28-29. I think he was 28 when I started playing Tilda, so who was 24 and now Tilda's 25 because we 
Time. Time has passed. Time has passed. So, yeah. Maybe 29-ish. Let me just uh, think about it. No pressure. Use those young bones to, you know, germinate the idea. Good night. He just walks away. <laughs> She's not going to say anything. She's just going to yeah. sit there for a little bit, then, then pick up the disc at night and not really meditate on it, just kind of like fiddle with it. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the end of the scene. All right. As far as I'm concerned. Um, all right. If no one else has anything, um, eventually. I review my plans to tell every party member. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, you have one for Mel, too? Tell him with kindness. <laughs> Are you the Batman of the group? Because that's what he did with the Justice League. He pretty much yes. did for everybody. <laughs> yes. That was exactly the reference I was making. <laughs> I watched any of the Batman movies. <laughs> um, it's actually in uh, the cartoons, I think. Yeah, I think uh, it's in the Justice cartoons. League cartoons. Uh, yeah. I don't watch any of those either. So. <laughs> well, essentially, basically, he's talking to Clark about how he has uh, Bruce is talking to you know Superman about how he has a plan to kill everybody and you know has weaknesses for all of them has jotted them down and like stored them away sort of thing he's like you know open up Diana's my main thing <laughs> focused on is killing people is relatively easy I just wanted to make sure they couldn't get uh, revived with anything short of a resurrection or wish spell which I figured out pretty easily. Hmm. Yeah. So, uh, open up Diana's and it's empty. Wonder Woman has no weaknesses. <laughs> Sounds right. It does. Because she's badass. Anyway. Sorry. No, that's, a, nope, that's okay. All right. All right. Most online things, uh, you know, when they're playing, what class would this person be? Batman is usually considered a rogue. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would. Yeah, I would consider Batman a rogue for sure. Her clothing. I feel like I feel Batman. Well, I guess he doesn't make his own shit, so he's not an artificer. No. Um. Although he might uh, balk at being called a rogue, considering his villains are called the Rogues Gallery. <laughs> Ropes, gallery. Okay, let's go. Move on. <laughs> okay. What I'm naming my thieves guild. That's not a bad name. Mm. Um. Uh, when morning comes, um, one of the attendance at the temple um, tracks down Aoife. I don't know if you're still on the roof or you're just in the <laughs> courtyard at this point. Probably the courtyard. She's staying outside. Okay. Um, one of the attendants comes to, out to you. Uh, and, it, uh, you know, a, a, young, a young lad, probably about 13. And he says, um, excuse me, uh, are you Aoife? I sure am. There's um there's a there's a there's a there's a man um outside the gates. Uh his he says he knows you, his name's Ricochet. Oh, uh, yep, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'll go get him. Okay, thank you. And he he, he sprints off. Yeah, I'll run off to to get Ricochet. Okay. Um, when you see Ricochet through the gates, he... <laughs> There's also a man here, his name's Gokor. Uh, um, 
when you when you go see Ricochet, he is he is out there. He hasn't changed much at all. Um, with two individuals, um, one of them looks like a uh, female in shape. Uh, bald head. Uh, looks like she hasn't seen a bath bathing area in a while. Uh, she's got like rag. Her clothes are ragged. Um, she has dirt smudges all over. Um, not wearing shoes. Uh, not much scarring. As far as you know this, so nothing's, it doesn't seem like she knows, like she hasn't seen any battles recently. Uh, the other person is a darker skinned uh, young man, probably about, probably mid 40s at this point. You do not recognize the dark skinned individual. However, you do recognize the um, the woman. Uh, she was a little bit older than you at the monastery. Her name, you recall, is Sahin. And she was more of the contemplative, meditating individual. Her focus wasn't martial arts near the end of her training. Uh, her focus was um, essentially achieving enlightenment through meditation and cleansing one soul, whatever that means. Um, you figure that was just fancy for doing shit. Yeah. Um, but they, they, they're behind Ricochet when he's you know, when he sees you, he gives you a small wave as he steps uh, through the gate. I'll, I'll shake his hand. <laughs> yeah. He looks tired. Um, there are bags under his eyes. He looks like he hasn't gotten a good night's sleep in a while. Um, and says, I'm very glad I got your message. Um, I think you remember, I think uh, you remember Sahin? And, you know, Sahin gives you a nod. Sure do. And this is uh, John V. He left the monastery when about the round of time you came in, I believe. So I don't think you two have had the pleasure of meeting. And John V kind of just nods at you. Yeah, you, you yeah, don't recognize this guy at all. Um, should we... Can we trust him? Is it Gokorn? <laughs> yes. Can Is we, he can a we... shapeshifter? Can we trust John V? Um, I... I, I just asked that. Oh, yeah. Like, like, Ricochet says, I'm pretty sure we can trust him. He hasn't been around for a while. Can I insight John V while I said that to see if he had a reaction? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Insight check. Okay. That is a D12. So, where are they? Okay, here's one. Um, he kind of blinks a few times, like, kind of, uh, kind of like thinking, huh, that's a very odd question about meeting me for the first time and then he kind of like thinks of, like he he, he f thinks about it, like a few seconds later he's like yeah I, i'd probably be suspicious of strangers right now too um just yeah. point at him and i'll say if you're up to shit i'll split your rib cage open um at that he nods and he says uh, could I could I request that you lay me out blood eagle style then if I am to have a, a death such as that? Absolutely not. You get no requests. Damn. I'll turn your ribs into pens. I don't think they make very good pens. They've been broken quite a few times. The ink probably wouldn't flow very well. 
dip pens. No, they. Oh, let's get inside. Uh, the rest of the group's here. Okay. Sounds good, says uh, Ricochet, as um, as you're led inside. Yeah, I'll uh, run ahead to gather the group. All right. You guys are notified that Ricochet has returned with two surviving members of the monastery. Okay. Actual question here. Mm -hmm. When Aoife says, I will run ahead and gather the group, do you literally mean... <laughs> You run and pick everyone up with all your arms. I'm not going to waste any key points on this. Fair enough. I'm okay. Where we're sleeping, like that, the sleeping area isn't just a yell. <laughs> hey. Yeah, Ricochet's here. Okay, fair enough. All right. Um, some of the attendants lead you to like a side room that you guys can use, like a you know kind of like um, a meditation room slash like conference area that you guys can use in the meantime for some privacy. And you guys are gathered there. Ricochet is there, um, giving a nod to all of you as you all enter. Um, well, um, I, again, want to thank you for all of you for your assistance. Um, he is, he looks, to the rest of you, he looks dead tired. Um, after the whole thing with Shadok, uh, when we come in the place, I would like to walk up to each person and just, like, touch their shoulder and make sure that they aren't illusory okay <laughs> um make an investigation I, check i don't have a way to shape check for shapeshifters but i can at least like poke Other people than... yep yeah make an investigation uh... check Ooh. oh okay um you poke each person you know touch your shoulder uh, they seem solid. Uh, you see, like, no, you know, and like they're what I see with my eyes matches what I'm feeling with my hand. It's not like I'm seeing a scarf and there's scales underneath or something like that. Exactly. Everybody okay. seems like the right size. Your hand isn't like going through. Nobody's smaller than they really are. That kind of thing. Nobody's larger than they really are. Um, you think what you see is what you get. Uh, I wanted to check for any uh, possible illusions. I'm sure you'll understand. Um, yeah, Ricochet, is, you know, hands up, says, no, that, that's totally fine. Um, especially what we're going to possibly deal with. Um, so, I have asked some of my treasure hunter contacts to relay any information they had, especially about the northern region, southern region, uh, northern region of River, southern region of the uh, Elven lands, uh, close to the pos uh, close to where the monastery was, and actually about. Half an hour ago, I received something that was pretty interesting, um, so to speak. And it might be the best lead we have. So, Luping had told me, I don't know if he relayed this information to you, that he, Gokur was heading south of the monastery. Yeah. Right. Um, so, I have reports of a, from a small town, nor northern Robur, northeast Robur to be exact, that he entered a small town there. Uh, as far as I know, there is no description of him having left that town. 
the town in question is a little place nestled in the northern mountains called um and he will uh, I need to look it up right uh tamarin so let me put that in there um as far as I know there's nothing of note in that area it's just a f small northern town um some place where sometimes the caravans will go pass by like close but there are no oases there there are no ruins there no monasteries as far as i know they're just a small little smithing town Uh, currently we have one of our own stationed in that area and they're keeping an eye out but they don't have the ability to cast multiple sendings per day so I'm still waiting to hear back now if there has been any change or if they've been able to find him but so far, it seems like he hasn't left. Uh, so far, it seems like he hasn't left. He has not exited physically, at least. As far as they can tell. Now, given his abilities, maybe he could have snuck out. But I don't think he would have a reason to. How far is this place from here by foot? Do you know? Uh, by foot? Monkfoot. Monkfoot. I see what you're getting at. Uh, give me a moment. Um, map. Uh, by Monkfoot. So that's for in it. Well, by regular human distance, uh, it would be 300 miles. Alright. Um, it's a fucking journey. It, that is a journey. I, we're going to try to make it and hopefully see if there's anything that comes in in the meantime while we're on our way there. Um, but, I don't know. It, if you, if you face him alone, he's gonna kill you. I don't know how graphic, um, Luping got with you. But he told us everything. Yeah, I, um, he, he told me a fair amount. Well, it will be me, Sahin, and John V. But from what I, from what we were all told, that's probably not going to be enough. So no, it's not going to be enough. If, if you are all willing to assist, maybe if we can find a way to get all of us there soon. Tornado but... warning! We got to go. Hmm? Be safe. Uh, tornado warning! I have to go. Okay. Uh, Rain and Zaitari. Yes. So, I'd want you guys to both throw a wisdom check for me. Oh boy, okay. Actually, no, make this a history check. Okay. Oof. Sorry. Um, 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 lucky, lucky. <laughs> we can't both fail this badly. <laughs> nope, that's all nine. That town sounds familiar. Nope, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope. 
Nope, nope, nope. It sounds familiar, but no, I can't really learn much about it. Nope. And Theo roll? I will only accept Theo rolling if he also rolls a one. <laughs> I'll let Theo roll because Theo talks to Tilda. Like, mm -hmm. extensive conversations. Yes. Boom. Okay. Um, that's pretty good. Thea remembers Tilda talking about a town of this name. Apparently, it was it consisted of a very very early job she did with the group. Um, What's the name of the town again? It, it's it's in the uh, it's in the general chat. It's Tamaran. Tamaran. Yeah. Um. Something about a really, like, it's just like there was a sword that somebody picked up. <gasps> oh! <laughs> and then Toda got really angry and so did the rest of the group. Okay. And then there was just this weird temple shit over there. Something about yeah, just scarlet water or something. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is the SW that I see in my notes here. Mm-hmm. Uncle Ba he he just kinda Uncle Basil. Uncle Basil. Was there. That's um Tilda mentioned an Uncle Basil in Tamaran. And, like, he, seeing everybody look at him confused, I presume. Um, obviously not her uncle. Um, she doesn't have an Uncle Basil. Um, but uh, he's, she said that he insisted on being called that. Um, there was a... A temple. Uh, the Scarlet Water? Um, she mentioned having to crawl through a tunnel. Um, <clears throat> to get in. Um, and that it was potentially very uh, bad on her dress. Got her very dirty. Wait, so you guys have been to Tamarin before? I haven't. But, um... A few of you have. Don't you remember when we basically annoyed that dust creature to death after uh, Bryn picked up the, the sword? <laughs> That's what I remember. She also mentioned, um... A Minotaur library? Yeah, there was a library. Um, that it had this been. was... Ultimate information, we uh, downloaded a USB stick, as I recall. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, it was also, I believe, the place where... Um, what's her face? Zaitari... Um, wow. Zaitari tried to, <laughs> sorry, um, Zaitari tried to uh, get Tilda to send um, Tegan ascending as like a booty call slash drunken I love you. Oh yeah, sort of well thing. that was that's because we got drunken. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah. But that is yeah. I was trying to. Figure out something you would remember. Yeah. Uh, Sword of eternity off the pedestal. <laughs> yep. And you made a shit ton of money off that night scorpion poison. Oh <laughs> yeah, we did. Um, I'm just looking through my notes. Um, from that 
era. The hunter was oh. frustrated with all the talking. He told them that if he was able to kill Bren, then he would leave them alone and show them the secret library. We we just annoyed it to a degree. Yeah, to yeah, we did. Um, but I have like you know the Drow mentioned his master, the Eater of Dust, and you know, in big letters, Bryn made me an engagement ring. <laughs> So yeah, you guys have been there anyway. before. <laughs> Was it like evil there? More specifically, was it the kind of place that somebody who's power hungry could go to tap into an evil source to gain more power and therefore get corrupted? Yeah, probably. There was like <laughs> a, a magic circle that could like I think one of the things you can do is kind of like change gender or there's I'm sure it did lots of other things but that's just the one I remember for some reason um, it was like where our minor god lived or something um, mm -hmm. it was like it's pleasure palace I think for some reason or that might be wrong but but in short well, yes that, and, that and sounds things potentially right Do you think he went back there to recharge, or? By the way, the guys, this was in uh, 2017. Yeah. So. <laughs> Before times. Exactly. <laughs> There's nothing, certainly nothing good to be gained by going there. There's no noble purpose. I mean, not that we were expecting this one person to have anything, but. Only bad things are going to come from whatever is there. We got any way to destroy it? Any, like, big crazy spells that could destroy it? Yeah, let's uh, go to the magic users. <laughs> don't look at me. Tilt is the... Uh... The mage in our family. I mean, I don't know. to spell magic? We should probably talk to Alexandria about this. Yeah. Physically destroy, like, open a fissure underneath it. You know, call down the lightning from the heavens. And, you know, something like that. Uh... Either way, I don't think we should be confronting him there. Absolutely not. It's, it needs to be on neutral ground where he does not have the advantage. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago. I was able to find it with the keywords boobs here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. I remember this. Okay. Yeah, um, that was a very, very long time ago. That was when we had time to prep. So now and Rain just spent like three days straight laying down a glyphs of warding. Mm -hmm. And like warded himself to exhaustion. Um, Ricochet says, if you guys have been here before, should we at least go to the... It sounds like, is this all in the, in the town itself? It sounds like... What exactly is this? I think it was a day out of the town. So, not in the town. Should we check out the town just in case? I am waiting for a delivery from Alexandria before we do anything. Okay. Um, 
she's supposed to be giving me some kind of sending something so I can send messages. Because uh, I know Gokor. Um, so I can taunt and humiliate him from a distance uh, to bait him into coming after me. Oh, that is a pretty good idea. Lay a trap and then we all... Okay, I see. Yeah, perfect. Uh, and apparently, I don't know if you were told this, uh, um, apparently the thing that kind of set him off and made him start or what was said just before he got set off and started destroying and killing people uh, was the Grand Masters and the Masters had mentioned me. He and then he lost his temper. did not mention that to me. I see. So I think I'll be good bait. Hmm. Do you have any idea how long this will take? I mean, it, it, I just don't want the trail to go co just in case he decides to go she away. She told me within, like, within a day. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, well, I suppose we'll when when she's able to do that we'll hopefully I'll get the next message by this next sending uh, at that time too, in case he has left. And as far as travel goes, um, I mean, Saitari, could you teleport us there? Uh, to the town. Yeah. Yeah, I probably can. I'm familiar with it, but it's been a while. So otherwise, I don't know a quick way to travel 300 miles. No, not really. I can teleport us there, though. But we need to talk to Alexandria first, don't we? Well, she's getting me a delivery. I don't know if she's coming, too. Um, okay. Literally ten minutes later, <laughs> as you guys are all discussing this, um, the same teenager that found you, Aoife, um, kind of like, there's a knock, and then he kind of just opens the door a little bit. Uh... Aoife? Yeah? I have a delivery for you. Somebody dropped it off from one of the magic shops in town. Thank you. Yes. Just toss it to me. Okay. He tosses you a, um, a, what feels like a stone in a, in a, um, in a wrapped, uh, um, hide cloth. And there's like a little note next to it. Uh, I'll just like toss the note to Theo to read while I unwrap it. <laughs> uh, Theo, uh, the note says, hold on. Um, let me just message. Poor dogs. A quick item can be used at least three times before the stone is out of juice. Once out, stone is kaput. All right. Well, there goes my plan to bully him.
should I send something now to like get the rapport going or do you guys think I should wait? Do we want to try to be close by before we do this? Says Ricochet. Do you think he'd be able to track you from scrying or uh, some sort of detection, oh, I mean, if, divination? Pretty sure if he if he's capable of scrying, he'd be he'd be able to look in on me anyways. I don't have any like non detection thing, and he knows me. Like we we were at the monastery together, so I wouldn't have to send him a message for him to scry on me. I mean, Ricochet says, um, uh, it's, it's your, it's, it's your plan, so it's your call. Well, it depends on if Alexandria is going to be showing up or not. I was under the impression that she was not going to be coming. Uh, so I don't know if waiting for her is a good idea. Um, uh, I'm not going to be using one of these three charges to send a message to her, though. I know that. So if we need to get in touch with her, somebody else is going to have to do it because waiting around is not going to do anything. And I can send the message just before we teleport. Or just after, whichever. Uh, Mallory's getting a drink, so. Yeah. Um, Theo's going to I have returned. What's happening? I heard my name. Um, uh, Tegan showed up, said he doesn't love you anymore, mm. and threw um, his engagement ring in your face. Oh, tracks. Yeah. Um, the sending stone from Alexandria got delivered, so we have it now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure she's not coming, so if we need to get in touch with her, you, you have to do it. And then we're just trying to decide, should I send a sending to Gokor before or after we teleport. After. Do we need to talk to Alexandria about anything? Not as far as I know. Does anyone need to do any shopping or planning while we're here before we go 300 miles into the desert? Not that I can think of. I think we're pretty solid. Do we have potions? Healing mm -hmm. potions and the like? I've still got mine, but I can't remember how they got used uh, in our big battle with the uh, Draco Lich, though. So. Yeah, I've got some potions still, so... Totally forgot to oil up before we uh, fought that battle. I got five oils of slipperiness. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, one day we'll remember. It just takes 10 minutes to apply. It's such a hassle. Mm. Uh, do we want to see if Belzor wants to come with us? <clears throat> or should he stay here just in case there's an attack here? I think that is best. Um, it's best that he and Lynn stay here. Just in case. Oh. Um. Yeah, I'm going to yell to see if that attendant's still like outside the door. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, you yell. It's like, uh, coming! Yes? Hey, we're going to be leaving here real quick. Can you let Belzor and Lynn... Uh, know that we're going and that they need to stay here and just in case uh, just in case the problem comes here instead. Oh, y y yeah. N no problem. Yeah, uh, of course. Right away, ma'am. And he bolts off. Do not call me ma'am. <laughs> I'll kick your ass if you call me ma'am again. Sorry, but, miss! Doesn't it?
Hurts, doesn't it? When someone implies you're old. Wait, I only say the truth. I, I never lie. I just don't like mm-hmm. the way ma'am sounds. Ma'am. It's so nasal. Of course. If we don't have anything else, though. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to deal with this asshole. It's up to you guys. I'll teleport us if we're ready. How many people can you teleport? Is it ten? Uh, that's a good question. Let me see. Because there's I was five just of bringing us. the spell up anyway, so five of us and then the three with uh, Ricochet and the others. Um, let's see. Eight willing enough. creatures. Oh, perfect. <laughs> All right, capacity. <clears throat> Well, uh, it's up to you if I'm very familiar or seen ca- <clears throat> seen casually. Um, I would say you're very familiar because you actually spent time in the town. Okay. Um, let's roll that 1d100. Okay, we're good. We're on target. <laughs> okay. Um, Zaitari... Uh, says her incantations and you guys pop up did you want to be in the middle of town outside of town what's your destination i'll say like um i I mean i don't know how specific i can be but if i can i'd prefer like just outside okay um so that way we're not teleporting hopefully not onto somebody's like cabbage cart or something that's true uh Darn cabbage carts. Uh, you uh, teleport uh, outside of a quaint little uh, town. Um, it is still morning. Uh, probably around 10 o'clock-ish right now. Uh, from your viewpoint, the, the, um, the dirt-packed streets are rather busy. Uh, there's people going in and out of buildings, getting st- um, already in the full swing of work. Uh, people drawing up uh, carts of ore and bringing them to the blacksmith. Um, I believe the inn uh, was... Uh, the Driftwood Inn um, seems to be opened with a steady stream of customers coming out um, after finishing a late breakfast. But all in all, it seems pretty, pretty standard. Uh, I'm just going to step away so I'm somewhere private and I will pull out the stone Okay. and send my first sending to Gokor. Okay. I will give it to you. All right, let's see what we got. Okay.
here, that's 25. Sorry, making sure it's 25. Mm -hmm. I have to adjust. <laughs> He's chatty. That's what you get back. Cool. Uh, so Aoife sends her sending and she just kind of like squints her eyes when she gets the response. Um, he said, thanks. You opened my eyes. Art was flawed. You're proof of it. If you stayed, it would prove it wasn't. Have worthier errands to attend to. So essentially he's trying to foist his own crimes on you, blame them on you. Pretty much. Well, if we didn't already know, we do now. Were there any other temples that practiced the drunken master style? Um, Rick, uh, if you, if you're asking Ricochet, um, yeah. he says there are, uh, however, we we were kind of a, a sect off of the main, like one of the, uh, one of the, one of the, one of the branches. So our styles aren't exactly the same. Every, uh, every monastery at this point has a variation to the style. In fact, um, and at John, uh, John V speaks up at this point. Uh, in fact, I actually studied at one of them, but it laid on the other continent much far south than our current location. Where? Uh, in the wilds. Theo does look a little relieved when he says that. Okay. You know, just uh, tries to hide it, but you know. Right, right, right. Um, Ricochet says, well, if we're not getting a response from him, do we want to see if anybody in town has seen him? He's 
apparently not too hard. Like, he would stand out like a sore thumb in this place. I imagine. Yeah. We can look Might around, as well. Yeah. <laughs> Go look around that weird, creepy temple place you guys talked about. But we're in town, so we'll start in town. Alright. Sounds good. Um... Uh, Ricochet says him and the others will start at the, you know, we'll start around the marketplace in the blacksmith if you guys want to take, uh, like the inn or something. Uh, sure. Alright. All right. Uh, plus he has to touch base with his contact to make sh to let them know that he's here, so. They don't have to set waste the spell slot to send a message. So he'll go off. Um, the Driftwood Tavern is in the same state uh, you you left it. Um, in the tavern, uh, there is an older gentleman. Um, who rain you don't quite remember his name but he seems pretty familiar like yep definitely seen him before but can't quite not the name's not quite coming back to me um yeah, uh, got this <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, you know, as you guys enter, he kind of just waves at you and, you know, pretty much gestures for you guys to take a seat up anywhere. It's pretty empty right now since the breakfast rush has just, uh, commenced. Was it Sally, Ian, or I Ian? <laughs> um... Sally was a seamstress here. Um, and yeah, Ayn, Ian and Ayn were a pair of brothers that lived here. Um, this is his, the, the keeper's name. I'm going to throw you one. is Horton. Like, here's a who. Yes, pretty much. <sighs> I did say that, but I was muted. So. <laughs> yeah, you snooze, you lose. Uh, just missed breakfast. Can I get y'all anything? Uh, we're actually, uh, looking around for someone. Uh, have you seen a man by the looks of blah 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 Because I, I can't remember if this guy has been described and what he looks like, so. Probably the best person that would probably know would be Eva, but probably a younger version. Yeah, so I, I can describe the younger him. Um, I'm trying to remember if Lu Ping said anything about him had changed with his appearance besides just being old. Right. Not really. I mean, probably jacked. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I'll just be describing like a jacked old dude. <laughs> okay. Like, kind of new to town. Oh. Um, actually... Yeah, he was he was here. He he spent he spent the night here um, before heading up to um, I think it was Morley's place. Who's Morley? Oh, uh, Morley. He's um he was a he's a uh, I, I guess the best way to describe him he's a wizard. Uh, came is this a half elf wizard who we met like the le the first time we were here, or an elven wizard? Perhaps. Okay, it's still him. He's still here. <clears throat> I remember talking to him specifically. So. Uh, yeah, he was. Um, he went to Morley's place. Um, after he spent the night here, pretty much. How far back ago was this? Uh, let's see. Um.
was probably day before yesterday at this point, I think. Not okay, too long. So not not too, not long, too ago. long ago. No, he Have you seen Morley since uh since then? Uh <laughs> have I seen Morley? Where <laughs> Oh, you're serious. Mm -hmm. Um Morley doesn't come out much. I mean, usually he sends people to get like food for him and stuff, but he's he spends all day in his um I guess you can call it the workshop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I can tell you where it is. Um, that would be great. Could you tell us where that is? Yeah. So if you go outside, to the outside, um, go down two blocks, uh, take a right at the corner. Um, you should be able to see his place. It's got a like a, a giant, I guess. It, well, I can, it's only uh, the only way I can describe it is he's, he's got a giant spyglass coming through his roof. Interesting. Yes. Um, says it's good for magical energies or something of the like. I I I kind of fell asleep when he was trying to explain it to me a couple of times. Perhaps that's why he doesn't come around anymore. <laughs> But yeah, but can't miss his place. If you get lost, then just get high enough to find the giant spyglass coming through his roof. Uh, great, thank you. You're welcome. If I remember correctly, we talked about him coming here because of ley lines? Yes. Okay. He was studying a nexus point so it's where ley lines would meet and he says this one's yes. actually very close to a major one yes okay and i remember this yep. i remember this and you gave him the blacksmith some money to help him with his endeavors mm, yeah that's right okay <clears throat> well uh i'm gonna uh kind of start walking out uh, and after we leave so long as everybody you know comes out with me I'm gonna say really hope he's not dead he was a pretty nice guy when I talked to him hopefully not he'll maybe have some answers for us uh, yeah hopefully can you, can you speak to the dead uh no I cannot. I think Tilda might have the capacity for it, but I might be misremembering exactly how nope. strong her clerical powers are. But yeah. Um, I'm a level one cleric. <laughs> that's right. That's right. All right. So you guys follow Horton's directions uh, to a actually a rather nice looking uh, establishment uh, made out of a gr it, it's a granite house with some pretty simple wooden well stone fencing around the area. Uh, what catches you by surprise other than the giant telescope that is sticking out from the top of the roof is that it is a three-story uh, home. Um, you know, the outside's nothing much to look like. Look at it. There's like multiple weeds and like scraggly bushes that line the outside. Um, there, the the windows all look like closed, and the curtains drawn. Um, there is a rooster outside in the yard, just scratching in the, in the dirt. Looks like there are just like multiple little like holes where like a gopher or like, um, like any other varmint has made their home. And there's, mm -hmm. there's, there's a couple like holes in the roof where, um, a bird has probably made their nest. Um, not a very that very well kept on the outside. That's for sure. 
I'll knock on the front door. All right. Uh, when you knock on the front door, uh, there is a young um, a young man who who you know pokes his head out. Uh, currently, uh, currently, you know, you know, fighting away some some sleep. It looks like uh, blinks when the sun hits his face. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Uh, well, your face I don't didn't expect seeing. Hello there. Hello. It's good to see you again. How are you doing? It's great to see you as well. I'm doing uh, quite well myself. I see that uh, <laughs> you've made yourself uh, quite uh, facet in the town then. Oh, oh yes. After you left... Um, uh, uh, after you left, uh, I there was a very generous donation that um, um, the the blacksmith said that was left for me. So I started gathering, you know, building some of the equipment I needed for uh, my research. And I, it, it's uh, where are my manners? Come in, come in, all of you, come in, please, come in, come in, come in. He like like flings open the door. Um, yeah, I'll say, I'll come, uh, as I come, I say, thank you so much for inviting us into your lovely home. Um, I am one to brag, so you're welcome for the donation. <gasps> oh, I have so much to thank you for. I, 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 and these were, I believe these are some of the companions you were here with last? Uh, correct. This would be some of them. Oh, good. Come in. Come in. Uh, let me. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the. Uh, let's go to the, the. 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 One of the. One of the studies. Something a little. I'm sorry for the mess. And you just see there, are, like papers, everywhere. There's like rows and rows of books. It's like a, almost a small, university, like library in here. And then. Zaitari, you're just one who especially notices this because you're more acquaint you're acquainted with like extra dimensional spaces uh, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. This place is a mm -hmm. lot bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. It's a TARDIS. It's massive in here, and there are like unseen servants that are attempting to tidy up, but it's not going very well. <laughs> um. Oh, don't worry. It's uh, quite all right. We actually have um, questions for you regarding uh, somebody who probably uh, visited you, uh, but a couple days ago, I think. Oh, of of course, of course. And he's already like he's led you into this um, this large study. There's nothing much in the you know a along the ways of like decoration, um, just more like posters and sketches that are strewn about. Um, but he's already like getting out some um, some some tea. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, sure. Uh, I don't get many visitors, so uh, I, I should be able to help you. Are, are you an associate? Um, Eva, would you like to discuss uh, these matters with Morley here? Uh, we went to school together. Uh, and then he graduated, went on, like, a sabbatical, and then came back and killed everyone. At, at that point, you, like, you hear, like, a, a cup drop as he's preparing it. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, we heard that he was here, uh, and then we heard from the tavern that he visited you, and so, you know. Can you tell us what you discussed? Uh, yes, uh, he. Um, there's an unseen server that comes to clean up the tea spill, and he's already like walking to one of the 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 ch like the chairs around the room. All the furniture here is mismatched. He does not have an eye for for coordination. Um, he he like he takes a seat, um, and he says, uh, "Of course, um, he wanted to talk about." And he kind of like, kind of fidgets with a, um, uh, what you can, what you know, the Saitari as a holy symbol of Coralon. 
that is like hanging around uh, a bracelet on his wrist. Mm -hmm. I like not. I not approving. Like yeah, uh, he he kind of fidgets with that. He he wanted to talk about uh, an event. My I guess. P.I. My, my 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 professor my my employer I, I guess you can call him my employer my employer was throwing, um, and possible participation in that event. What is the event? When is the event? And where is it? And who's your employer? So he, I I guess. Okay. So after your generous donation um, from the, the blacksmith, I was able to do some more research on uh, the nexus points. Uh, and mm -hmm. I got to a point where I started being able to communicate with beings from other planes of existence. And I was visited by, well, not visited, but I was starting to speak with a entity merely known as Lyris. I'll put it in the chat. Um, Can I make some kind of check for this name? Uh, I said Arcana would be a good check for this. Four don't fail me now. It's not bad. All right. Definitely, definitely a proper name. Uh, probably mm -hmm. not a name of some type of, like, type of being. Um. But you're you can't like you don't know like okay, but what could this being be or who is this being? You've never heard mm -hmm. of them. Okay. Had to try. Right. Um, is uh, do you know the plane that this Lyris is from? Uh, yes. Well, they had their own large interdimensional space. So a a a, a subplane or a subdimension, one would call it. They have their own sub dimension. I know this sounds well, their own ludicrous. pocket plane. Yes, their no, own pocket not plane. Not really. We've been a lot of places since we last saw you. <laughs> oh, good. You won't look at me like I'm crazy, like the other towns. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, uh, you. Thank you. Is this pocket plane, is it adjacent to another major plane or just kind of off in the astral sea? Uh... I am. I, I. I hypothesize off in the ASOC. I have not visited myself, but mm -hmm. my employer. So he's been helping me, or she, them, they, they. They've been helping me with my research um, about studying the natural nexuses of this world, and but. My employer has very eccentric tastes, mm -hmm. I suppose. So he's he has interests in capabilities of beings, mortals, uh, those of the draconic, those of the celestial, and what truly these beings are capable of so long story short uh, and he turns to you Aoife he's I guess the best way to explain it is he's currently holding or he's about to hold a multi-dimensional combative tournament Sorry, are are we are we going in, into the tournament arc? Are are we doing what's that freaking weird ass thing? Mortal Kombat? 
this actually really does also sound like Mortal Kombat. Because but it also Mortal sounds Kombat. like we're going into an anime tournament arc, and I'm fucking Yeah, this is it. like season two of Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but he, he's like, he's, he's trying to explain this as like a non-combative person, clearly. But yes, yeah. uh, my employer is currently in the process of creating summoning the invitations needed for this tournament and mm -hmm. i'm assisting i'm assisting We're... them in in this okay can you put our names on the list along with go core so this is a well... little bit complicated i'll explain how it, how he how they want it to work okay and i might be able to assist you on obtaining an invitation so my employer's plan was to send powerful beings that they have obtained or created into multi-planes have potential combat combatants track down these opponents opponents and the invitations would be inside the opponents in the form of spheres that would transport five individuals to the site of the tournament. Explains why he was ripping people open. Um, it is, I believe it is team-based from what I've been told. Hence why there are five per creature and you you're, you're he's like explaining this and he's trying to he's trying to be like i don't know like the, the looks on his face on morley's face are like i don't know what he's thinking i don't know his thought process but i'm i'm i'm, I'm going with it yeah i'm just gonna put a hand on his shoulder and say don't worry about it extra dimensional enigmatic beings have their way with weren't doing tournament bullshit so honestly who who knows but really um anyways were you just trying was he just seeking information to get to find and kill this thing to get an invitation yeah. into this then i believe so he asked me what beings were currently well cat cat uh he asked me what beings or if the beings were currently in our, the, our material plane and I have not received word yet about that. I was going to receive word on the process pretty soon because the tournament, if we were about to go through our time terms, would probably be, be in a month. I see. What the fuck does this have to do with killing... A whole monastery of people. I don't know. <laughs> well, I was mostly was this... looking at Ava when I said <laughs> that, but sure. Yeah. Was this the first time he came and talked to you? Yes, I, I had never, I had never spoken to him before. Um, did you tell him that the beings weren't here yet? I did because he questioned that. Yeah, he may have started looking early. Um, but <laughs> looking for the spheres inside of people. Oh, or he was just trying to get some cheap practice in. I, I see. Because I can't really think of another reason why he like rip the spine out of like a child, you know. He blinks. I see. And he looks very like, at this point, he's just like, oh my god, what have I got? Well, other than the tournament, which is kind of like, oh my god, I know what I'm getting into this. Into, oh my god, there's more to this. <laughs> Are you able to contact him? Like, were you going to be getting in touch with him when the beings showed up? Um... I he asked me if I could um but when he heard he need he would be needing a team to participate with 
um, he merely said, I'll go take care of that. He, he wasn't polite. He kind of just left. Are was you he kidding? trying to find people who were worthy at the monastery? But he was. I do have the capability of sending. Yeah, he did tell me worthier errands to attend to. Um, yeah. Did you tell him you would tell uh, that you would give him a you know a sending a message when the beings showed up and the hunt began? Uh he 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 asked me to. I, I said I would see what I can. It depends on it depended on whether or not my employer how my employer wanted the hunts to start to commence. You seem like a nervous guy. Uh, how good are you at lying? Um would you like to roll an insight check? Sure. I have a feeling <laughs> I know that you, you probably do. Uh, he wouldn't bet his life on it. <laughs> That's what he would be doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking he either went to the monastery to find people who were, and Zaitari is going to do air quotes here, worthy for this, or he's doing it to attract somebody to him to get a team. Well, yeah. I mean, to be honest, it is pretty much a prize worth gunning for. What is the prize? Oh, um, my 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 uh, my employer has promised the team who comes out on top of the tournament will receive a single wish. Oh shit! Yeah, that's a pretty big deal. Send them ascending and say if. He's still looking for a team. He, a couple of potential teammates have come to you asking about the tournament. Okay. They've slain Draco Liches. We have just done say that. we've killed dragons because uh, that's okay. Not a lie. Um, when would you want me to send this message? Can you do right. it right now? Oh. Uh, okay. Um, he looks really nervous about this. Oh, we say uh, he should meet us at a certain point in the desert, far away from here. I think so, so yes. we do not endanger this man's uh, home. Did we meet him at the temple? <laughs> Um. The, the Scarlet Waters thing? How far away is that from town? It's about a, like day. a day. Yeah, that? it's a day. Mm. Honestly, what I think we could do is tell him the truth. I think that he's foolish enough that he would jump at the chance to get rid of Aoife, as well as show how worthy he is by defeating opponents. <clears throat> Say him that we're ascending. here to stop him. I and that we'll meet him at the temple. Sent him ascending and he basically said, fuck off. I mean, honestly... Oh, I wasn't I'm here more... for the response. Yeah, it's okay. I put, I put him in the, in the chat. And I saw what you wrote, I just didn't hear the rest of it. Um, honestly, I'm more interested to hear what he has to say back morally here okay uh, if he's interested in teammates or if he's like no i already found some people thanks um you you see him okay so you see him cast sending because you guys have seen zaitari done it do it a million times yeah and tilda so. And mm -hmm. yep, and Tilda. And yeah, sorry, Tilda's not right here right now. <laughs> so 
Not for the baby. <laughs> um, Doesn't mean she stopped existing. <laughs> you only exist for your baby. <laughs> uh, um, I'm not getting a response, says Marley. Then don't push it. Okay. Should I hide? Like, you know, he kind of like waves around the um, the establishment. He has no reason to kill you. Yeah, he uh, he really has no reason to kill you. Honestly, I think it would be he had no reason bad to if kill he all did. Children either. He thought he had a reason to kill the children. Uh, tell us when the creature gets here first. Oh, uh, of course. There'll be multiple on this plane, as far as I know. Um, there are going to be quite a few teams in this tournament, from what I understand. The faces fucker in the tournament. Cool. Awesome. Um, I'm, I'm glad that you're satisfied with the information. Is there anything else you guys need to know? I don't think so. Okay. Sorry about the tea. Uh, you see the, the unseen servant has finished cleaning it up. I mean, it's quite all right. Um, I realize we obviously have started out on a very serious note, but I mean, if you like, we can still have tea and sit for a while. Kind of. Do you have like a <clears throat> plane I can scream in? Uh, you can, uh, yeah, uh, actually, if you, if you go over there, uh, there is the, um, uh, I often use that room to go scream into the void. No, people won't hear you. I, I, I I've spent many nights losing certain trains of thought. I'm going to go into that room. Okay. Uh, knock once to enter. It will let you in. Knock twice to come back out. Got it. All right. As Aoife goes to scream into the literal void. Yes. Go scream into the void. Oh, uh, and you see an unseen servant come in with a tray of uh, cookies. Uh, raspberry <gasps> biscuit, anyone? I'll take one. Okay. I'll Come sit in a chair biscuit. and munch. <sighs> this is no offense to you, Morley. I, I just can't teleport us anywhere for another day. That's so. that, that's perfectly fine. Um, Would you like to hear what we've been up to? Oh, uh, yes. You, you says you, you have um, uh, experience with interdimensional travel. Yes. Uh, in fact, we've been to the Feywild, mm -hmm. killed an arch fey. That was fun. Uh -huh. uh, she was trying to ascend to godhood, uh, replace the Raven Queen. So he had to, you know, nip that problem in the bud. Uh, went to the Shadowfell for a jaunt because uh, we had to kill a Draco Lich. Just kidnapped uh, my companion's daughter over here. They look to Rain and Melanie. Interesting. Wow. We've been through a, a lot since we last met. Mm hmm. We're the heroes of Leona. Oh, that's wonderful. What did you save Leona from? Um, an old one. Yes, Mallory. <laughs> what, did, what did we save Leona from? Well, so, we saved the queen's life. So. There you go. Yeah. We saved the queen's life and, you know. Defeated an old one in the process, kind of, just sort of. That was a dragon involved. Yes. We killed a couple of dragons, but they haven't been, like, traditional dragons. They've been, like, weird dragons. We killed a dragon that was literally just a pile of coins. Wow. Oh, I couldn't do all that combat combative um, stuff. Um, I think that's why I think that's why my employer likes me. I, I'm kind of a homebody at this point. Nothing wrong with that. Honestly, I wouldn't mind doing that myself if uh, things didn't want to keep blowing up the world or 
killing people, but, you know, well, heroes have their duties since we are the heroes of Leona. Well, it sounds like you have a month to rest if, uh, unless you're going after this individual. I mean, if we could find him, I think Aoife would prefer to just, you know. Nip this in the butt, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It, sounds, it sounds, like, sounds like that. He looks back to the void door. <laughs> Part of me would like to participate in this tournament because it is very interesting because of the wish but at the same time wishes are also wishes are also very dangerous oh oh yes oh yes i wouldn't want to be in the position of the of the um of the of the winners i i'd be so scared about how i would word my wish yes i feel like with winning the competition or like before agreeing to participate there should be like the like a terms of service agreement kind of thing so you can make sure that the wish isn't going to backfire on you and like what the limits of the wish can be that way nobody's disappointed in the end and the world doesn't end up like inverting in on itself by some poor wording you know what i mean mm -hmm, mm -hmm. apparently this hasn't been the first uh this has been this isn't the first tournament my employer has uh, thrown before Hmm. He's done this before, but I, I, it's led me to believe this happened prior to my birth, and then some. Hmm. I see. Yes. So he does throw these things on occasion. He, they, they, they do just throw these things on occasion. So. So far, the the the, the my employer has been the disembodied voice, so I haven't seen that. Mm, I see. Uh, would you like a chocolate chip scone? I'll take one. Okay. Um, yeah, and you guys sit and chit chat there for a while. <laughs> um, eventually. Aoife, when you walk into into the into the uh, into the door, it is literally like a room that's like dark. Um, there's like shadows everywhere, and you can't see to seem. It doesn't seem like there's uh, any end to it. Uh, but there's no echo in here. If you if you test out your voice. Um, yeah, she'll do some screaming. Uh, she'll do some cursing. Um, she'll uh, pull out the disc of night and just yell, uh, like, Char directly. <laughs> <laughs> and just express all frustration. Uh, and then take a second, center herself, and then walk back out. Okay. Two knocks, you're back out. Uh, the party is there enjoying some tea and some scones and some uh, raspberry cookies. I'm just imagining the screaming cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you walk out, uh, Morley offers you a uh, small plate of uh, scones. Scone? No, I'm good. Okay. Kind of like sensing the tension. Um, Theo's, Theo's keeping a close eye on Aoife, but he doesn't say anything or, you know, do anything other than that. You got any alcohol? Uh, I, I do. Um, w one moment. Uh, he'll go over to a cabinet. Uh, how, how strong? I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it literally doesn't matter. I can't get drunk. Okay, uh, he will take out some, um... Really, there was no further question after that statement? You know what, after like what... Like, why she... she wants the alcohol? Why, uh, you know, after what she's been gone through, I don't think he's questioning anything anymore. <laughs> um, takes out what looks like to be, like, a bourbon. Hands you a bottle and yep. a glass. It is, um... Uh, he asked, do you would, would you like ice? Nah, it's fine. It okay. burns the same way. Okay. It's fucked up because it burns, uh, but then doesn't do anything. It's no. like a great joke, right? Like the universe plays. 
So funny. Norley will nod. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> and sit back down. Sip his tea. Get some more tea. Um, any other questions? And drinks the rest of the tea in, in, in silence. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely contact you when the um, the uh, the targets land. Um, are you are you gonna know where they land? I'll know the general region. I won't know exactly where they land. He wants. Lyris wants to keep it randomized to a certain degree. But I know there'll be se at least on this plane anywhere from three to six. Right. We'll have to be quick when it drops. Mm -hmm. And uh, there should be a fair warning about the invitations. Um, they can be taken after acquisition. Yeah. By other potential opponents. Yeah, I'm actually kind of betting on that. Okay. Um, well, thank you for being, um, a lovely host and all of the information. Do you need to get back to somewhere in particular? Uh, well, I mean... Yes. <laughs> yes, back to Leona. Oh, um, oh, I can, ha I can, I can definitely assist you with that. Oh, that would be wonderful. Um, really? Uh, yeah, Ricochet. we just have to go to the top floor. We need to check in with Ricochet first. To oh. See if he's staying or coming. Oh, this is a very good point. Well, uh, just knock on my door when you're when you're ready. Um, I can I can get the um, uh, translocator ready. Uh, to, it takes a couple minutes to warm up, anyways. Um, then perhaps we should go speak to uh, Ricochet. Yeah, the city was going to be up in the market, market area, so. You guys know this town. We go find Ricochet. All right. Actually, I'm going to send uh, a message to Ricochet. Found some great information. Where are you at? We need to chat. Uh, we're headed to a wizard's house. Oh, yeah. great. <laughs> I'm going to send him another sending because I don't think we're going to be fighting anything today. I'll say, oh, great. Meet us here then. That's where we are. Okay. Uh, it takes about five minutes for him to knock on the door and morally says, oh. Uh, Drew revis okay. <laughs> Trots off. A couple. Yeah, I would. Later. I would inform Morley. This is our other tra traveling companion. Okay. Trots so. off. Comes back in with uh, the the three monks. Um. So, uh, Ricochet says, "What exactly is going on?" And Morley's like, do you want me to explain? You might as well. Okay. It'll probably be fastest. Uh, yeah, I yeah. He he'll 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 go uh too long didn't read mode. And like Ricochet's just sitting is standing there and he's nodding and he's like, Okay, wait. Inter disembodied intermed uh, being of some kind is holding a fighting tournament and Goku's probably interested in it. Got it. And there are Things that will have invitations. Okay, got it. 
Oh. What? He's 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 trying to process it. <laughs> Have a biscuit while you're processing. Yeah, he'll, they're, he'll, they're quite good. He'll 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 reach over to one of the raspberry biscuits and nibbles on it. Well, yeah, it's some shit. There's a room you can scream in if you need to. I think I need to do that. Uh, which way to the room I can scream in? Yeah, right over there. You <laughs> knock once to get in, and then knock twice to get back out. All right, I'll I'll be a few minutes. Um, so Hen says, "I I you can," and then like he just slams the door shut. Well, <laughs> and so Hen just like just kind of looks sheepishly like back on the floor. gone. Hmm, it's gone. Mm oh, thank you. It's been been a while since I've had sugar. Um nibbles on it but i guess this is the this is the time to have it if there's any time to 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 break my fast <laughs> nibbles on it really good and we're gonna try and nail gokor before the tournament starts but <clears throat> somehow i'm thinking it's gonna be far more cinematic to go to the tournament fight our way through it and then face him in the final that would be sick i yeah well, I love a good tournament. I love a good tournament arc, man. Um, Rikish... we, we've had plenty of Hot Springs episodes. <laughs> so we need a good tournament arc. Um, after, <laughs> after, after like five minutes, uh, Ricochet comes back out. Okay. So in the event that we can't get him before this tournament starts. I guess plan B would be try to get as many people of our people in as possible. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And face him ourselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. You can go. Then we've got Tegan, Tilda, Alexandria, and... Angelo. I would imagine Alexandria and Angelo probably want to stay here, but we'd probably, at the very least, have Iskin. And um, Belsor and Lynn would probably be in, too. The only thing we need to remember... Uh, well, maybe not. Hey, Warley, is this a tournament to the death? Uh... No, from what I understand, it is, uh, well, it, it's not supposed to be a tournament to the death. Um, it, it's supposed to be at least, um, knockout or surrender most of the time. There have been deaths, I've been told, but... That happens even in tournaments. It's, it's, it's expected. It's, I but just it's wanted not, to make sure. Yes, the intent isn't to just no, kill the, everything. The intent isn't to kill anyone. My 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 employer doesn't want unnecessary bloodshed. Un, 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 unnecessary deaths. Mm -hmm. Bloodshed, fine. Unnecessary death. That sounds like he does. He or she does not care for. I just wanted to make sure before we convinced five more people, maybe ten more people to join in, that it wasn't going to be guaranteed suicide mission for that many people you know because like that would be super shitty yeah but that would and ricochet is like um I, and hopefully it plays out that we don't meet each other too soon in the brackets if there are brackets I'd, I'd kick your ass brackets. old man hmm I'd kick your ass old man <laughs> I mean, if it is also to surrender, then, you know. Yeah, then one of the teams can voluntarily surrender, if need be. Right. Well. 
That was this is, has been very useful information, um, Mr. Morley. And Morley's like, yep, yep, yep. I'm pretty much. He's like, oh, good. I I was helping organize a tournament for an employer. Oh, great. There's child murderers in this thing. I was not expecting this. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I need to uh, teach you something real quick, Morley, uh, about the world. Um, when there is an opportunity to exact violence and the reward is unprecedented power, it's probably going to attract some pretty bad people. Yeah, because, I know. It's yeah. just the thing is, it's just so. Why kill the children? Why? <laughs> he knew they weren't going to give him the invitation. It just seems strange. Well, we'll get the answers when we find them. Yeah, I guess. Um, did you still want to use the translocator? Uh, yes. Right. Uh, Ricochet, do you want to accompany us back to Leona? Uh, Ricochet says, yeah, I will. I Looks like I'm going to need to find some people to help me. Mm -hmm. So um, he turns to the other two and you know, they they nod with him. Um, all right, uh, Morley says, "I'll go fire that up. I'll let you. I'll I'll send somebody down once uh once it's ready to go." Uh, Valido is good. Yes. Okay. That's uh perfect, actually. Great. Gives you a thumbs up. It hurries up the stairs. Um, about two minutes later, uh, you he you feel the house shake a little bit. Um, it's as if a really l large and loud wa uh, washing machine that's not stabilized has just been turned on. Pretty, pretty much. <laughs> and it shakes the house a little bit. And several minutes later, um... A uh, a scene servant, um, just a, like a wisp of a, a shade, just comes into the room and just motions the follow me motion. So we've been. Is there is there somebody typically who like manages the? Uh... What am I? What am I trying to think of? The uh, teleportation circle. Yeah, there's Belita. always there's always like a clerk there or something. Is it a different person every time? It seems to be a different person every time. Okay, never mind. Because I was going to give them a sending to let them know we were coming. So they were like, oh shit, this is unprecedented. Like it, it happens every time. But uh, never mind. Um, as you follow the shade up the stairs, you are, uh, guided into a large room. Um, there is a chandelier-like object that hangs, it, it looks almost kind of like a ceiling fan, but at the end of the, it, of the, like, there are no blades, but there are these metallic golden rods, each with a very, very large, uh, orb of stone connected to each one of them. Um, all around the room are glyphs and runes etched into the wall uh, with additional uh, colored stones and deep rivets that connect to particular runes and wards. Um, and you see uh, Morley is just going to like a few of them and is touching a few panels. All right, so... I need this coordinate, this one, and then we're going to take account for weather and time in Valido. Okay, and then uh, Garnet, Obsidian, uh, Malachite. There we go. All right. Um, okay, that should be all set. Um, I wish you luck in your future endeavors. 
Um, Great. And, yeah, don't don't be a stranger. Um, I'll be in contact with you once once the creatures drop. Oh, absolutely. Uh, does this does this function like as a teleportation circle? Uh, pretty much. It it it, 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 it does. Um, however, uh, I, it connects to a couple other planes as well. Um, uh, I've got it working for the plane of fire and the plane of water. Hmm. That was a very, very interesting trip. How, I bet. However... It can go to the plane of ooze. I We're not going to go through these planes. No, 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 no. You're just staying on the material plane. Yeah, it's the it's where the uh, plane of I believe water and earth meet. Mm -hmm. So between the planes, there are slivers of like ice is between water and air, and. It, 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 it's 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 weird. I've gotten to ooze, and it's not a it's not pleasant at all. I I, I I stayed inside, and we don't need to talk about that. Ugh. Yeah, honestly, I had no idea that even existed. So, yeah, between the planes, there are just these weird combinations that you can think of. I actually just learned about it today. <laughs> Ooh. To be completely honest, yeah, like I, I think it's up to like DM discretion how they mm, want like those probably. in between in between planes to be like ooze plane sounds like uh fun and horrifying all at the same time mm. or was that the plane of mud it's both <laughs> poor kind of <Lostos. laughs> uh he he's just like anyways yes valido simple easy done uh so you should be there in it takes a little bit it takes about five minutes as opposed to instant with the teleportation um, regular teleportation, but I don't have those capabilities yet, so I have to use this. Alright. Um, good luck. We'll contact you. Should I let you know if I come across murderer again? Yes, yes. please. <laughs> please, absolutely. Okay, we will we'll do. Alright. Have a safe trip. See you later. <laughs> you will, like, shut the door. Have a nice trip. See you next fall. <laughs> uh, Theo presses um, five platinum into the man's hand. Oh no, that's not that's not necessary, sir. Just take it for your for your help. Oh 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 okay okay. I mean, unless you don't want it. Um, I can donate it to the local temple here. Do what you will with it. Okay. <laughs> it's yours now. He'll, he'll... He's a duke. He, I'll just say he's a duke. It's fine. Oh, okay. It quietly just pockets the money. Um, and she's like... Mm. He's a duke. He loves giving away his money. <laughs> <laughs> what else is he going to do with it? Yeah. <laughs> um, and he steps out of the room. The whirling colored stones above you start spitting. And then you realize the entire room starts to spin. Oh, fun. I need Whee! everybody to roll a constitution saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> As it gets faster and faster and faster and faster. Yeah, let's fucking go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, eh. no. I'm going to re-roll that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> indomitable. Rain, use lucky. You guys are going to suffer. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, better. Yeah. Not the, great, but better. The centripetal force of the room throws each one of you against right, a like wall. This. Yes. Uh, Rain, you're starting to feel very nauseous. Um, it could have been what you, it could have been that scone you had, but, yeah. They did not warn us to not eat before we got onto the ride. <laughs> I'm gonna sue. <laughs> um, and it, 
it, it, for you, Rain, it feels like a goddamn eternity until the spinning stops. <sighs> um, for the rest of you, it probably only takes like a couple of minutes. Uh, you're you're able to keep your lunch in, um, and you could everybody roll a dexterity check as you are dropped. Um, unceremoniously onto the floor of the teleportation circle in Valido. Dex check? Dex, oh, uh, uh, dex, there, yeah, dex check just to see if you land. Like, it's a, it, it's like a 10 foot drop. Uh, if I slow fall, I'll be fine no yeah, matter you're, what you're I roll. You're fine. The three other monks that were with you are fine. Um, Can we do acrobatics? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Can we do acrobatics? You... You would probably have to roll a disadvantage, actually. You uh -huh, I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> Jesus. You're still nauseous, but you land but you on your feet like a cat. Oh, no, Just no, no, no. stay down. Stay crouched for a bit. Just like... <laughs> land and then... Uh, speaking of cats, is the <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, Zaytari. Yeah, that lovely sound. Yeah, Zaytari. Oh God! <laughs> or in the bathroom where there's no uh, <laughs> there's no carpet. <laughs> Gotta chase the rain down. Mm. Or if you're on the bed and you hear that sound and you immediately oh, toss the yeah. cat off the bed. <laughs> it's like get away, get away, get away. Doesn't matter if it's carpet right at this point. Um, you still feel sick, but you land on your feet. Uh, Melanie, you're like, you tumble on the face. floor. Face first. Yep, face first. Yep. Uh, Zaitari and Theo, you are kind of like in a crouched position, but you, you know, you don't suffer any like embarrassing positions as you are like unceremoniously like chucked Dumped. out of this space. Yeah. And there is a. Another clerk. They must get interns to to the station. These these check in desks. Just kind of like they didn't teach me that about teleportation in school. Uh, they didn't. Welcome to the teleportation circle, of Valido. Uh, could you please sign, please? <laughs> I just start walking away because I'm like expecting. Uh, Theo to handle it. Theo point. takes care of it. Yep. Oh, good, 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 good evening. Um, Lord, 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 how was your trip? Uh, bumpy. Ah, I see. Kind of looks at Melody face first on the floor. Uh, yep. <clears throat> Uh, just, just you know, sign here, you know, at the at the, mm -hmm. the checkout, and you're 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 off you go. <laughs> I give uh this intern um one platinum. Thank, thank you, my lord. Mhm. Mm Fuck it, why not? <laughs> just gonna take the gold off of uh Tilda's. Sheet or platinum, technically, off of Tilda's sheet because, uh, technically, Theo does not have any money. Yeah, but he and Tilda also share their money, I'm assuming. Yes. So. No, uh, and Theo, a modern woman who has separate accounts. No. Yeah. <laughs> Please, I don't even have a separate account money? from you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that the Loyalar money, or is that the Galantara money? Technically, Tilda doesn't have Galantara money anymore. No, I know. I'm just All Loyalar money. She got disinherited. Anyway. And, uh, your kids are only going to get a fourth of the country, not a whole half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, basically. Well, and one of our kids is only going to get a fourth of the of the country. All right, but yes, you are back in Valido. It is 
it is 11 p.m. at night. Do a bit of a stretch. I'm going to send a sending to Tegan. Let him know I'm back. Wink, 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 of wink, the wink, same wink, day. wink, 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 wink. It's 12 hours. Four. Then. Ten. Same day. Same day. Same day. Well, we've been gone. We we left. I had to sleep. Yeah, so at least next day. Yeah. Um, Late night booty tell call. Me, out the tell middle. me. Hell. Uh, tell me, DM. How long would it take for um, Tilda and Shattuck and um, to sort of like prepare to move the uh the oh, house even go to the keep yeah mm -hmm. yeah i'm assuming they're still at your house possibly yeah. uh, does tilda have teleportation she has a teleportation circle yeah yes i do teleportation yeah. circle uh they pr uh they but if... with the baby right it's with hard the baby. to say Would t okay, this is your call. Would Tilda use circle teleportation to get to the keep? I think because it's her firstborn and she's literally just a few days old, I think Tilda would go the old fashioned way. Okay, so it's possible that they're pro still probably in preparations. You know, okay. gotta get a carriage, gotta get a guy for the carriage, right. gotta get the horses, gotta make sure they're well watered and fed before you depart. Mm -hmm. And, you know, packing everything. Is... Oh, yes. Yes, yes. And you gotta have the baby bag now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, they're probably still at the house. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, let's head to the uh, Loyalara estate. So you head there. It's relatively quiet in the city. Um, the only places that are really loud and rowdy are the taverns, tavern, ta taverns, taverns, <laughs> taverns, the taverns. It's a the taverns. Yeah, they're like they're like uh they're like they're new places for it's what the their version of barcades are, I guess. Mm. Yes. Um, they, they, uh, taverns and bars are open late. A couple of night watchmen walking around, keeping the peace. But relatively quiet. Um, most people gotta get up early to go sell them wares and stuff. But yeah, you get to the house. Um, one of the servants opens the doors, just like, you, wow, okay, come, come in. At, Did I get a reply from Tegan? Uh, he's still here. He was gonna okay. like help Tilda. He, like he's helping Tilda and Shadow like get ready to go back to the camp. Oh, that's great. Oh, too bad he's gonna be busy. <laughs> oh, <sorry>. no. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's whisked away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got him in the middle of like you know just you know. Getting a another bag. Um, hey, sorry, I need to talk to. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> Whee! Yoink. <laughs> Depending on how fussy the baby is, Tilda might still be awake. Because, you know, mm. babies don't it is follow 11. Yeah, yeah. Proper sleep schedules yet. Mm. Her back could be bothering her, so she might have to just stand up for a little bit. Yep. Um, I think Tilda is probably like trying to get uh, Trixie to go to bed. Yes. But, you know, and go to sleep. Is and... Mal being soothed by the sound of the melodic kazoo? <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> She's probably, like, Shaq's probably started and, like,. Hello? Sorry. 
Shots probably start my cuz <laughs> but the filter in my mic doesn't allow me to kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Okay. No. No. <laughs> I Thank haven't... you filter. <laughs> I was doing a lullaby with the kazoo. <laughs> oh, that'd yeah. be amazing. But as soon as Shadok starts, like, <laughs> Tilda's like, Shadok, not now. <laughs> not that it's not delightful, but I don't think it's helping. Please put it away. Put it away! <laughs> no, she. What you know, my kid? What the fuck? <laughs> no, 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 it didn't happen. That would be the time, though. Rain comes. In. What the fuck did you say to my kid? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you people doing back? All of our trips last like twenty minutes. Yep. Um, I and Theo will gladly probably take. Trixie from you if you need to sit down for a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once upon a time we knew what Rain and Zaitari would both do if they met their own clone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. It's wrong. <laughs> Honestly, me and my own club would probably just play video games with each other and yell at each other. Ugh. I would hate my clone. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the self-loathing goes to external loathing. Yeah. It does. It does. Why do you keep slouching? Stand up, for God's sakes. God, I know, right? <laughs> That's the clone's response. God, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> they got the magic power of cloning and they chose you Jesus <laughs> this is what you used your wish on <laughs> anywho uh yeah so Hilda gladly lets uh, Theo take a baby mm -hmm. um And is happy that uh, Rain and Mel are here to take their child yeah. away. Uh, we'll, we'll take our own private uh, uh, concert. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I can teleport us to the keep in the morning, no problem. So. And I guess you guys are going to tell Tilda what's happening. Yeah. Uh, Ricochet yeah. and the other monks have already, like, said their goodbyes and split off. They gotta start looking for people themselves. But, yeah. So, yeah, so you guys tell Tilda that, yay, might have to participate in the tournament, so, yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, it's only five people, you don't have to come as both of your characters. Bryn? Where's Bryn? What? <laughs> my my first character, the little gnome, shows up out of fucking yep. nowhere. We're like, Jesus, we forgot you existed. What are you doing here? <laughs> she's in our Sunday Lily. game now. I don't even know who your first character was, but she's a gnome too, so that's the only reason Lily. I said that. Yep, Lily. Lily did not last very long. No, oh, she but, did not. But I forgot she was a thing for a while. Oh yeah, Lynn did have a one before her, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I did not like Lily at all. So. But yeah, you guys probably explain what's happening. Or Theo will explain what's happening. <laughs> Somebody now, explains until that is caught up. The, the month, up. where does that put us on the year? that uh mel was given um you're coming very you're actually coming close to it is it gonna be before or after the month is up it's gonna be before okay the uh, the years before or the tournaments before uh the tournaments before your confrontation 
Okay. Wrap it all, all up right. in one thing. Get him a team in there. And... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I mean, I'm honestly, I would not be shocked if we met this guy. In the no, team. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised at all. I'd just be like, oh yeah, this makes sense. Yeah. Do I we get to do a training said, montage? We'll you guys can let me know what you do for the next month, unless you unless you have any ideas of how to get Gokor. You can try, you can give me um. We can go through some of the ideas you can have to lure Gokor out. See, unless we had something personal of him, we're gonna have a hard time trying to scry. Yep. Yeah, and I don't really want to waste my sendings. Yeah. I want to. I want to taunt him once we get one of the invitations um, to either lure him out before the tournament or you know agitate him at least mm -hmm. um, it's like hey you son of a bitch yeah I got a golden ticket <laughs> <laughs> guess what dweeb so yeah it's I, I doubt we're gonna run into him before the tournament, but once we get the invitation, I would like to taunt him with one of the sendings to potentially lure him out early, but I don't think he's going to be lured out early. Um, we do want to, we need to assemble a couple of extra teams to try and get into the tournament too. Just on the tournament, um, as you might have noticed, I was third out. I was called outside, and among other things, I had to take pictures of the stats. Um, like, are we going to do potions and things like that? Because that's probably what Ryan's going to be doing for a month. If we have preparate, if we can prep and. Would you like to send a sending to Morley to see the like, if there are any? Yeah, I'll there? ask him. All right. I'll ask him. Um, he will say in in response, "Everything goes." Oh, sick! Everything goes. Not anything right. goes. Rain. Everything goes. And like, I'll, I'll be in. I'll be in the alchemy lab. <laughs> yeah. She's like, "Hey, honey, it's time for your potion making class." <laughs> Eva's going to be focusing almost exclusively on trying to connect more with Char in the Disc of Night to see if it'll upgrade before the tournament. Okay, uh, and that's about it. Honestly, Tilda's probably going to be doing the same thing with the uh, shards of daylight so all right cool um what? <laughs> when you're doing that um so i think this would be a good time to stop so you guys can tell me so i can tell you what happens during your month mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um for each week i will need four religion checks from each of you for those who are trying to connect with their relic how many four one for, four each, for week. each week. One for each week. One for each week. I can't. Okay. I don't know. Sh I'm sorry. One for each week. One for each week. Uh, you know what? I might as well. I'll I'll try as well. We'll see okay. how it goes. DM. Um, all all three times at advantage, assuming I use lucky. <sighs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. Am I allowed? Yeah to roll my portent rolls before I roll a religion check. Yes. <laughs> Damn, I rolled like really fucking well. Oh no. Oof. Oh no. Oh no. Wow. The first one's a natural 20. Yeah, and then you, you got... You get too cocky yeah. after that first one, and you just whiff the so, rest. I will take a natural 20 for my first okay. uh, religion check. Alright, I'll make that now. You know, Tolda and Rain do everything together, and I'll take the seventh now. <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> yes, uh, it she'll is. give you the natural one. It's probably more like oh, a seven. That's great. Um, and uh, let's see, the thirteen becomes a nineteen for my second one. All right. Not Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, it's going great for Rain and Aoife again. <laughs> when I'm, one of us fails, we fail together. What a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> natural 20. All right. That's two nat 20s at this point. Right. That's three. 
That's three. Oh, it's three, oh that's, I thought it was oh the same because it's 20 and then 12. So I just thought it was the same thing. That's oh, weird. That's I have funny. a question. Yeah. Um, Tilda gets portents every single day. Oh, yes, God. she does. Do you want to replace? I mean, if we're do- game mechanically, you can. Wow, take- we're fucking just gaming the system right now. I mean, I, ro- I rolled two natural ones <laughs> and a two. <laughs> I have a plus I mean, six to religion, like it's decent. I just need more than a two. Right. Uh, the thing is, it has to happen before you roll. Yeah. Um. So if you had said, hey, Hilda, you seem to have some good luck sometimes. Or, you know, basically said, hey, Ro, can I use a portent roll? You know, I would gladly have given it to you. The, you know, second highest ones. Uh, I just... I'm sorry. It's alright. I'm, I'm just desperately skimming my... <laughs> my uh, various monk things to see if I can use anything to roll ability checks and I don't think I have anything. What I imagine is is that Rain is spending a lot of time in the alchemy lab and brewing po- trying to brew potions and I, I imagine my uh, my vestige is just bored as fuck. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. She's just like, hey, what happens if we mix that unstable caustic chemical with that unstable caustic chemical chemical. and you're like no we die (laughs) and then you you hear a pout like you hear the pout (laughs) Mm. (laughs) all right um so yeah um you don't have to tell me now what you're doing besides meditating on particular objects Um, um but you can tell me okay who you're going to talk to about getting into the tournament. That'll be Uh, one. I just want to say, I imagine that my, like, you know, religion checks are me just having really successful heart-to-heart talks with my dad. That's what I was imagining, too. (laughs) (laughs) Aww. Um, But I have them, I have them all, all, all written down. Um... And so the, the I'm, ma- I'm making a checklist. So let me know who you're going to talk to in the month about who's going to be participating. Uh, two, let me know if you have any other ideas prior to the monsters dropping with the invitations on getting anything from Gokor, whether it be information, golding him, that kind of thing. I have a question for you. Yes. Um, if I were to pay money, like, to have, like, maybe two people working on something, um, could I get a single use, like, those tokens that we got from the, the people in the desert, uh, some sort of token of a spell in a month? And if so, what would be the highest it would go? Like, could I get, like, a level three spell? I think you could get a level three spell. I'm trying to see what is. And oh. I don't know what I would use. I just wanted to know. Like, I might look through the spell list and I might see if that's something that I want to do. Because there could be something useful. Okay, so um, level, level, level three spell scrolls are considered uncommon. So you definitely could get a few out if you need that. I think that I'm going to have a token uh, or multiple tokens of counterspell made up. Um, that could be really handy. Okay, so mm. you're going to oh. ask people to make counterspell tokens, which isn't a bad idea, honestly. No, yeah, and then, and then maybe like a token or two of like some sort of healing spell. Um, probably... Um, see if I can get some well well why don't you see if you can get a wand yeah I was gonna say get a wand of healing word if I can um so I can have a and, oh right you you have magic now so I was I just do. gonna say can you use wands and tokens oh, that's a that? good point the tokens were different because they could be used by anybody but the wands I know yeah. you have to have 
um, honestly, the wands. Um, Wait, I don't know a... if I can use them. I can cast cantrips and a first level spell, but I don't know what the requirement is to. No, use that's a just wand. for scrolls. Um, in three point five, you used to have to have a skill for using magic items, but um, for wands, it doesn't matter. Now you just you can just use them. Oh, okay. Uh, Stand, uh, but for scrolls, you do have to be able to like. Yeah, you cast have to the cast spell. a spell. Yeah, or at least a spell, and yeah. then your DM might let you roll for a different class and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me see. I'm punching in something. I'm looking for potion speed, token speed. I I need speed. I need it. I need it. Haste, haste, <laughs> haste, haste, haste. Basically, you just want to be able to inject uh, crack cocaine straight into your veins. No, you want. speed. <laughs> she oh, wants good point. speed. Oh, that's true. You felt it. Also, if we do get tokens that let us have any spells that are concentration, if we throw them at Mel, she's got a, a 20 con. So her constitution checks should be reasonable. Okay. But uh, she's also going to make a lot of them because she gets hit. Uh, yeah. for yeah. Melanie, uh, third, sp third level is probably the highest you can do. I calculated a rare scroll. It's going to take too long. Okay. That's 50 right. days, I believe. But I could get a couple of counterspell. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll have those made. And then if I'm able to find a wand of healing word, that'd be great. If not, uh, we'll be all right. We've got a couple of them. All right. Uh, yeah. Just let me guys know what you want in the in the chat, and I'll get back to you on that. Like item, magic item wise, making potion wise, that kind of. Thing. Uh, also, I will let you know. I cannot play. Mm, hold on. Let me just double check. Okay. No, I can play next. Right. <laughs> Sorry. It's the second and the ninth. Uh, the second I definitely can't do. The ninth is dubious. Okay. I don't have any that I know of until the end of July, and then I will be definitely out. Forever? No, forever. no, I know, no. I the night before my wedding, <laughs> I'm I no forever going to be busy, or possibly just having anxiety attack after anxiety attack and just being a sweaty mess. You know, one of those two things. No, forever. Kelly said after we get married, no more D and D. Yeah. <laughs> And you're uh, still marrying him? <laughs> I would not. I would say no. Just because I wouldn't want uh, to be something that controlling. Mm, that's fair. Not really. Aw, then. Alright. I will uh, see you guys next week. Okay. Yep, see you guys next mm -hmm. week.